used to think when I was a kid and I lit my flashlight and I aimed it up in the sky that it, it would go on forever. Well. Light would never stop. I mean, of course it would, but, you know, as a kid. Well, technically, though, I mean, it would kind of go on forever depending on how powerful the, the bulb and all that shit is. The energy source. I, thought, I wonder if turning this flashlight on and shining in the sky, I wonder if some alien can see it. Flick your flashlight. Hit the message. Flick it three times and all of a sudden you see a light blink three times. And somebody's turned the phone home. Oh, how easy it would be for E.T. if he landed now to phone home. Yeah, he just, can I borrow your cell phone? That's all he would need. He wouldn't have to build all that shit. Yeah, but I bet a cell phone would be like... <laughs> It'd be like phone home. Star 6-7. Star 6-7. <laughs> that shit still works. Hell, a cell phone, man. Would probably, he wouldn't even know how to use it, though, probably. He'd be way too advanced for that. Yeah, he they use they probably use like their telepathy or some shit, you know. They just think it. They, like, why would ET ever have to phone home? He would just think it. I don't know. I don't know how that shit works. I haven't seen ET in forever. It's a good movie. I just remember looking at ET when I was a kid. It reminded me of my great great aunt. <laughs> Are you? Are you being for real? Yeah. I love my Aunt B, but she did look a little bit like E.T. Dude, I showed it to my kids, and it freaked them out. They were scared of E.T. Yeah, I think when they're too young, he, there's something about them that, yeah, it kind of scares kids. I mean... I think that's the way he talks, like that. Yeah, and he does look kind of odd. I no offense to your Aunt B or anything, but... No, he looks like a real, you know, wrinkly old person. <laughs> That's so funny, man. You might have been my Aunt B. My Aunt B. I think she knew it, too. That's why she's like, turn off that AT movie. <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> I look like me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now that I think that he was kind of odd looking like why would they make an alien look like that because sure. you always picture him like as grays you know with the black eyes the almond eyes and all that stuff and yeah E.T. was none of that he was short and stubby he had a retractable neck yeah do you remember the Atari game of E.T.? There's a whole documentary on how that landfill came about. Yeah, I watched that a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's like the worst game ever made. Yeah, that's what they say. They lost so much money. I do remember one of my friends in the neighborhood had that game. And it, and it was shit to play. Yeah. Damn. You see that? What? The entity just already clawed up a... Oh, yeah. Generator. He's got corrupt. It blocks up Since the. It started. It just blocked it. Yeah. Yeah. He's got. It blocks all the generators furthest away from him, or something like that. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> You're no pieces of shit. Did you, just, did you say this city's a cesspool? Yeah. Well, I went to the second generator and it was all closed up too. It's Mike Myers. Mother the fuck down the fucking tunnel. <laughs> Third generator that's been closed up. 
How many does he get to close? Uh, depends on the perk level, but usually like, I think it's like four. I see you, Michael. Yeah, man. Well, you got to do that to me, Mike. Damn it. Ah, he got me. Become my friend. I'll be careful. Oh, sheesh. Well, yeah, I hate when they do that, man. That's a, you can't tell. I thought I've done that before too, thinking you can run through them. I was like, here I come, baby. <laughs> Got me off the hook, but damn. I'm like, I, I went to second stage on that shit. We need to go across the map and heal the fuck up. You're like, hell no, we're gonna do this gym. Ooh. Where are you? Oh, I'm running to the killer shack. Might be a med kit down in the basement. And there's a gin up in the shack. Oh no. <laughs> you said that with so much disappointment in your voice. Oh no. Yes. You just got that one hit. Yeah, I'm healing up. I'm coming after you, bud. Shit, he coming back. He's, behind, he's right there. Run, run, run. Damn, I'm dead, buddy. I no. wish I wish you the best. No, don't come back. He's more in me. <laughs> Threw me away like yesterday's garbage. Just happened to switch it to you like right when you got hit. Oh, oh it's killing me too. Oh shit. Threw me away like yesterday's garbage. Those were the days, man. Happy 
people don't really prank anymore. You really I know of. I mean, it's not like it used to be. Now everyone has a cell phone. There's no white pages anymore. Or... No, and if you want them, you got to pay for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they're like maybe twenty pages thick, where they used to be like an entire. It used to be huge. Yeah. People used to use that to beat up other people with. They'd pick up a white pages, yellow pages, and just club them over the head. Yeah, I mean, remember people? My aunt, my great great aunt, B, <laughs> who, you know, who kind of looked like T. She used to, when she would drive, she would have to sit on two phone books and a pillow. No way. I'm being totally honest, man. Oh. So that way she could see above the steering wheel. Because the older she got, the, the little older she, she could shrink. She drove until she was like 92. Man. Good it for her, though. It was towards the end, though. Oh, man, it got scary. She would just be blazing through red lights like nobody's business. <laughs> it was scary as shit. Dude, you should have... You should have... You hit somebody one time, too. Nah, uh for real? Yeah. Spider web her whole front windshield. Well, what happened? Was the person all right, or...? Yeah. She's standing with some old fat girl. Oh, my... She ran right out in front of me. That's what she... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. She's like, look, this big old fat girl ran out right in front of me. <laughs> Basically saying that she couldn't avoid her. <laughs> Oh my goodness. She was fine, but yeah, it did crack her windshield. Bro, you should have taken her wherever she wanted to go in a in a, on a bicycle and just put her in the front like in a basket. Oh my god. Make sure uh, she's warm, put a blanket around her, you know. She could have taken off. Sounds like E.T. It does. <laughs> she really had to sit on phone books and stuff, though? Yeah, she sat on a phone book and, like, a pillow. Man. Good for her, though, driving. Yeah, she drove to 92. That's crazy. And after she hit that person, of course, that was really bad. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. That was the end of her driving days after that. But she would, there towards the end, you wouldn't see them so well. And she would run to a red light, so it was scary. I imagine she had... I don't think people know that when you vault a window, it lets the killer know where you are. Okay, you can only hit it once, lady. It's Father's Chambles camp Chapel, but Whoa. there you come again. Yeah. I'm dead. That's a good Billy, man. Well, he might have had barbecue and chili. She got pork and chili. What'd you say? Did I said she got pork and beans. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> she got pork and beans and he's got barbecue and chili. What? Just say the words. Say the words and it can all end now. <laughs> Breathe them. 